India is again a very important part of what we are doing, and not only in the terms, it's just in the sweet spot today. Let me just tell you that. If you talk about being a very uh, important aspect, world is looking at it not only in the terms of the consumption economy, where we are growing and we have plans to grow our Indian uh, home textile in the terms of retail. So that is again a very, uh, very important aspect of diversifying the risks. But the important aspect is India is becoming an integral part of the supply chain for most of the global retailers as a lot of other economies who supply to all the other uh, countries, they are being displaced because of some kind of a geopolitical turmoil, some kind of relationships. And that's mm -hmm. where India gets to the sweet spot. So yes, India will continue to be there. And India actually contributes around, you know, 3% of India's GDP uh, to, you know, the home textile actually contributes that to uh, the Indian economy, employs around 4, 45 million people uh, out of that 1.4 billion people. And we are looking at it to, you know, grow at around $65 billion in the next five years. Okay, so big numbers uh, that you're quoting uh, for our viewers out there, Dipali. And I, I would want to show the stock as well at some point in time to just reflect how Wellspin Living has done over the course of uh, the last few months and also year to date, 14% higher. And I think if you were to just stretch the chart a bit more, you know, the returns have been quite favorable. Impressive as well. Uh, what about the Bangladesh situation? You, you know, you were talking about geopolitics. And I wonder, in the last three months, how much... How much have you seen shift from Bangladesh to India uh, as far as the global textile uh, industry demand is concerned? Because uh, obviously we've had Bangladesh as being the number one exporter for textiles. So how much movement on that front have you seen because of political tensions there? So you know what? You can't see the movement, but I think I can still reinstate that India still it stands to gain because, you know, it is the biggest grow of uh, not only a biggest grow of cotton but the biggest exporter of cotton it it's manpower where you know you have an opportunity to upskill them skill them is again a very important aspect and again being a very important technology hub i think we have a great opportunity to really streamline technology streamline ai into our whole uh, you know manufacturing base so yes i can say that india stands to gain it is in the sweet spot and uh, definitely it is going to grow. Even a 1% displacement can take it to a $10 billion in top line. 1% displacement, 1% order movement from Bangladesh can add $10 billion, you're saying, in, uh, by way of orders for, for India. Yes, it is not just Bangladesh, it is about all the other economies which are right now being in turmoil. And that could be a great opportunity for India in the terms of not just home textiles, but also in the terms of apparel as well.